Everyone, this is Ahmed Fadola from Technical College of Najaf. I am introducing you the sampling lab, which it is the same pass amplitude modulation. We will use Scientic Trainer model ST2151. We will use in this trainer uh, information signal of frequency 1 kilohertz supplied by the board. And also we will use a carrier frequency, which it is, uh, which it is the same, the sampling frequency. Uh, of a value from 2 kilohertz to uh, to uh, 40 kilohertz, the the sampling frequency also supplied from the same bo from the same board, and the information signal we can visualize it here by the oscilloscope, and the sampling frequency here we can visualize visualize it by the oscilloscope. Which it, is, which it is the same, the carrier frequency here. Now the sampling frequency is 5 kilohertz. After that, we can visualize the output of the, after the sampling, by visualizing the output of the sample amplifier, sampling amplifier, and we can see it here by the oscilloscope. Since we are using sampling frequency of 5 kilohertz, we will notice that we have five samples in each cycle. Since the information signal is also one kilo is one kilohertz, so we have three samples in the upper half and two samples in the lower half. If we change the output of the oscilloscope probe to sample and hold amplifier, we will notice the difference. The sample and hold amplifier is containing on holding capacitor. The holding capacitor will change the shape of the of the sample signal to this waveform. This waveform is better for reconstruction by low pass filter. Will give a less, a less distortion, as we will no, notice this now. <coughs> if we connects the output of the sample amplifier to the low-pass filter second order, we will see the reconstructed signal here, where the frequency signal returned as of the original information signal, about 1 kilohertz, but the shape of the information signal is now distorted. Again, now we want to test the output of the sampling, but by use sample and hold amplifier, and we want to notice the difference by using the same order of the low-pass filter second order. We will, we will see the shape of the reconstructed signal is less distorted, and we have a better reconstruction. The frequency signal is also uh, one kilohertz, and also the waveform is. Just, uh, is, the, is less attenuated so we have a better reconstruction by use sample and hold amplifier for the same amplifier also we can notice that if we use second order low pass filter the reconstruction will be like this And but if we use fourth order low pass filter the reconstruction will be, of course, better since we have increased the order of the low-pass filter. This is fourth order, and this is second order. So the second order will be more distorted, and this is the fourth order. We also notice that the attenuation is increased with the fourth order. But it is little increase since we have two stages of operation amplifier in the fourth order active low pass filter. Now we, we could also notice this phenomena by using the sample and hold amplifier. Here we will change the, the connection to sample and hold amplifier and see the behavior of low pass filter second order firstly where the behavior of the output of the second output 
of here the output of the second of the low pass filter second order and now the output of the first or the low pass filter fourth order it is better reconstruction okay now thank you for listening see you in the next lab